talking about it. Just let me check it. That's all right. Hi, welcome to this English motivation video. I'm here with Tomek. Hi. And Tomek is going to really help you with your English motivation. So, first of all, Tomek, what are some general tips you can give for our Langlings, our students? Well, it all starts off first thing in the morning when we get out of bed. You've got to have a plan for the day. You can't be not knowing what you're going to do because then it, if, you, if you plan the night before, it takes away that insecurity. And it sounds a bit boring, but having that structure really helps us be as effective and efficient with our days as possible. And English, learning English may be just part of your day. You may be working, you may be at school, um, and we have other responsibilities. So if we can fit this into our busy lifestyles, it means we will make progress um, whilst we keep up to date with everything else. Perfect, perfect, great answer. And so, you know, the students often they get to this situation where they're feeling really demotivated. They're not making any progress. What can you say for them? How can you keep motivated? This is a difficult one because, you know, it's a personal feeling, but all I can say is we've probably all felt it in, 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 in lots of things we do, and it's not just learning a language. And learning a language is difficult, and, you know, it starts off fun, it's a new thing, you're making quick progress, and then suddenly you kind of find a, you, you hit a wall. That's a phrase we, we use in uh, English, mm -hmm. which kind of means, you know, there's a barrier that comes up and you've got to climb over that wall. And really, it's just working hard will get over it. And, you know, as, as long as you keep going, you may feel the progress has slowed a little bit, but then you'll suddenly reach past that point and you'll feel all the much better for it. But if you don't keep going, you won't achieve, and that really is it. You must keep going, keep learning those words, keep practicing those very difficult bits, those more subtle nuances, mm. more technical stuff, and uh, you know you will become a fluent English teacher. Thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions rather. Of or speaker. Speak out or speaker. Speak English. <laughs> One day you might even become an English teacher. That that is what we're hoping for. Yeah. And I've got you know one last question. What about, you know, hope and faith? How, how much do you think believing in yourself, self-confidence and all those things, you know, have to play in this? Um, just how, let's have a dance interlude. <laughs> um, yeah, so what do you think? Um, well, excuse me, the dance in interlude there. Um, yeah, you know, having hope and faith in yourself, it sounds cheesy, it sounds, you know, this sort of overly American self-help, um, you know, you know words to boost your spirit. But it is important to have self-belief because if you don't really think you're going to do it, most likely you won't. Um, but, you know, having faith is really about having a goal, having clear and a clear ambition. Don't just learn English because, you know, it's something to do. Learn English because you want to say, in three years' time I'm going to travel to the UK, I'm going to travel to the US or wherever it might be, and I'm going to engage um, with a group of people or, you know, Maybe, you know, I've, I, I've always wanted to fall in love with um, an English speaker mm -hmm. and uh, I want to have those perfect words when I meet them or, or whatever it might be. But just, just have a goal and make sure that, you, you know, this is something you really want to do because it's not easy, but it's, it's very achievable and it really is very achievable for anybody who will put in that work. Great point, Tommy. Great point. This has been great, students. We've learned a lot. Right. It's time for us to go, so it's bye for now from Tomek. Bye guys. And it's bye from me. This has been Charles Wood, English teacher, with my boy here, Tomek, getting motivated. We're your language tutors online. Don't worry. Subscribe. Be happy.